the network. I've been thinking about, I don't know if there's going to be like a course on or anything or something you're going to talk about, but OPM, other people's money, um, in terms of like, once you have your marketing in place, and one of the things I'll, I'll show, I'll ask you, I mean, maybe I can just ask you here since we're in this chat. Um, as I get ready to do this marketing plan and implement, I have about six people in my network, three of which I met in the last few weeks, just through random encounters being with people um, that are millionaires and they're pretty much looking to invest. And when I met them, they listened to my music, everything. I didn't even ask them to. They just wanted to because one of my best friends was getting married and uh, happened to be like the, all the people in the bachelor party that I was with. It was six of us. Three of them were millionaires. And like I wasn't – he told me that himself. They didn't tell me that. But throughout the night as they got comfortable, they started opening up. They listened to my music. Even when we were in separate hotel rooms, they were listening to it, coming over, talking to me about it. I never once asked for anything, just brushed it off like, yeah, that's cool. But one thing I really wanted to ask you about is when I'm at this point where once I do the marketing, I'm ready to go to other people. Like I'm really just trying to figure out what's the best way to approach that. Or like, do I have to have some type of blueprint to be able to offer them, Hey, how you get, this is how you'll get your money back. Because I think I'm really getting to a point where the next aspect will really be just having the true finances to do some type of tour or like get myself out there more in different states. And I'm really good with my resources. I'm really good with self-efficiency, but it's going to get to a point where I'm going to need that to take it to the next level. And I know I have the people in my contacts to do that. I just don't want to make a wrong move or, or do something that's going to steer them away because they think that I'm coming from a place that's just about something more parasitical or more, not that I would at all, you know, but, just, you know, people's minds, it's quick when they have money to think that people just want something. So I just, I don't kind of just want your advice on it right now and just let it stir in my head for a while. One, definitely stay in contact with them, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like Ryan said, right? Just stay chill. Uh, when it comes to your plan, definitely have it mapped out from a sense of a blueprint to get your money, to let them make their money back at some point. Yeah. Because even if they're not looking for that, like they're just like, oh, I'm going to throw this guy money and whoop de whoop and they're not thinking that deep into the business, which they probably are to some extent. Like just because once it's time to give up money, people get more serious, they will appreciate the fact that you've laid it out and that you're thinking that much because you want to be looked at as somebody who's trusting and, and thoughtful with their decisions from the jump. Right. So you want to prepare as possible, have some sense of blueprint marketing plan, you're going to be able to talk about how this is the plan. There'll be some flexibility in the framework to take advantage of opportunities unforeseen. And the primary revenue streams in which we would try to get, uh, we would try to capture uh, money to get to return would be X, Y, and Z.